So welcome back folks, this is Shardul Gavande from Ace Knowledge and in this video we'll see how we can install Python in our system. So let's go to the internet and we, we actually have a software which is integrated development environment as we have for Java we have as IDLE. For Python we have over here as IDLE, I-D-L-E. So we have to go to Python's website, let's say download We'll type as download python for windows and we get redirected over here as python releases for windows so let's navigate over there and let's install this software so here you can see in the download section we already have it will automatically i guess it will detect the your system whether it is your linux or windows so my system is windows so it has come as download for windows so this is what we want as python 3.6.1 okay so we'll click on this and it will start downloading it will ask for downloading and here you can see over here it asked for now it, it the download has started actually it didn't ask well uh, i don't know why but it has started downloading and i think i have already downloaded so that is the reason it is showing as python 3.6.1 one and again some into bracket uh, and another one so yeah, let's see whether it is yeah i have already downloaded so let me cancel this download as i have downloaded it earlier so let's say i'll cancel it so you got to know from where you have to download so here are latest releases of python okay which you'll get to see and according to your system whether it is windows OS, mac os or linux so based on that you you can download python for that particular system so now let's come back to our setup file and we'll run it we'll say as run it administrator and we'll say yes so it is the setup has been started here it will, what it shows select install now to install python okay we'll select install now we'll don't we'll not select customize installation we'll select uh, the basic installation okay so this is python 3.6.1 32 bit setup so it is installing so here you can see as python for windows so this language is basically a very easy language it is basically a scripting language which you, where you can learn things in an easier manner and the most important thing for bscid students it is one of the subject for their semesters uh, i guess in sem 3 they have python yeah so it would be interesting to interesting for them to learn these languages so it is quite easy uh, have we done with the installation well it is uh, being installed so we can see the progress so you can see here the setup was successful okay so now we'll close and open our python software so let's check it over here so you can see this python okay so we have python 3.6 python idle okay so we'll select this idle which is integrated development for python and here the shell comes python 3.6.1 shell so this is how it looks so you can say a software where we can where we have to code okay and it shows the version of python and the date uh, of the release and uh, etc all the thing all the related things with it so we'll just print something so the very first uh, for every programmer he prints is hello world so we'll do the same so we'll say print and into bracket we'll type hello we'll say hello world well why this hello world and where when this hello how this hello world has come i have made a video of this so do watch it if you don't know it's just a different part uh, for for it they are not related anything to coding it's just you can say it as a general knowledge okay so we will print hello world and here you can see that we don't need to specify semicolon or anything we just have a print method and under that whatever we want to print and we'll press it and we'll hit the button enter so you can see hello world our very first program we have coded in python so it's as simple as that where in java or any other language it is quite difficult even to print hello world program we have to declare the header files then we have to uh, create a method then under that we have to we have curly braces then semicolons etc well in in python that's not the case we have unlike unlike other c based languages which we use which we where we use curly braces 
so here we have as identification identifications instead of the curly braces so this is how our uh, first program of hello world okay so that's it from this video so we'll we'll go into more detail of python well it's quite easy so stay tuned for further more videos thank you so much and please do subscribe